Now we can tell how the coffee machine works, a filter coffee machine. Uh, this is the plug. So we have the earth, we have the live, we have the neutral. And when we get into the coffee machine, so we have, this is the brown is live, uh, that is uh, earth, and that is neutral. So the live going here, and then following this wire, and to the switch, the left side. When you switch it on, it will go into the light will come out from the middle switch. And the middle switch will come in from here to a overheat protection. So when it's uh, hot enough, this will break. And when it's not hot enough, it will be connected. And then this wire connected to the heater. So that's the heater. The heater is around here, the elements, and coming out from here. So, and then go back to the neutral. So that they complete the circuit. So from the live to the switch, come back from switch to the heater, from the heater, go back to the neutral. So that complete the circuit. There's another circuit, which is, uh, the this this wire so this wire directly connected to the neutral and connect to the switch the right connector so now we can say in the switch when you switch on these two will be connected when you switch off they're not going to be connected and the indicator should be a neon so when you have the live in the middle and when you have the neutral on the right connector, the indicator should let up if it's working. So in this case, the neon stopped working, but the switch still fine. So we can draw a diagram for this coffee machine. Now we can do that now. Here we go, this is our diagram. So we have the uh, main power in live and the neutral, and the live going to the switch, the power on off switch, on or off. When it's on, it's going to be connected to this point and go into the overheat switch. And then to the heater. The heater, the water will be heated by the heater. And then go back to the neutral. So another connect to the neutral is the right tap, right connector of the switch. So between this and this, there's going to be a neon indicator. So in this case, our neon indicator stopped working. So the switch, we have a switch connector, and actually these two as a switch, and that one as, a, as an indicator. So this is a, our uh, electrical circuit diagram and if we go back and have a, a, another look over here see we see uh, the heater element the overheat protector and we have three wires to the switch and that's all it's a quite simple device